Hi there. In this short video, we'll talk about an application of quadratic equations on cost functions and profit functions of a monopoly. Just for our reminder, this is uh, the diagram of a monopoly's equilibrium. Here on x-axis, we have the output and this QM is the equilibrium output and we have uh, price, marginal revenue, marginal cost and average cost variables on y-axis. Uh, marginal revenue curve is here. This is the demand curve and average revenue curve as well. This is the average total cost and this is the marginal cost. So there are a few points that we need to notice. The, f most, uh, the first one, the most important one is the point where MC is equal to MR giving us the equilibrium which leads to the uh, point where this perpendicular cuts the average total cost that is F point and finally this perpendicular meets the average revenue or demand curve at point E. So this is the profit per unit which we can multiply with the number of units that we would like to produce at equilibrium it is also equal to this length that is from O to QM this also is the same length so we can find the area of this rectangle which will give us the monopoly profit um, let's talk about uh, the numerical in the numerical we have a quadratic cost function as you can see a quadratic specification exists because the independent variable that is Q is having a power of 2. The price function or the inverse demand function is linear in nature because the power of Q is now 1. Now the formula for profit is simply the difference of revenue and cost. The revenue function is not given but we can use this price function and we can multiply it with Q to find out the revenue function. So here the price function and the product with Q minus cost function they are given and then we can do the calculations and simplification will give us the profit function. Here we are the profit function is now found. Now we have the condition for maximization of quadratic function which is at a parabola. Primarily, we should know that a quadratic function basically gives rise to a parabola which has a certain shape and this is going to give us the maximization of it. Here we are talking about profit function so we want to maximize it. It will be a point at the top of the parabola. Just to visualize it, it will be something like this. Not a uh, neat diagram but this gives us the idea so this is that point where the maximized profit will take place and now we know that profit maximization will happen at a certain point now we um, have this condition that tells us that if the negative value of a exists that is the coefficient of um, variable with uh, square term so it is minus 5 over 2 so when this happens which is holding true here the quadratic equation has a maximum at this point where we will use the value of B and A the value of B is 100 and we know that the value of A is minus 5 over 2 so we are going to put these values here 100 over 2 B with a minus sign so the answer will be 20. So that's a very simple calculation. This basically gives us the equilibrium value of the output that the monopolist should produce in order to maximize the profit. But we know that in order to find out the profit maximization, uh, we have to put the value of Q here. And we just did that. And once we do this, we will be able to find out the profit maximization and this is the profit function where we substituted the value and you can solve this you will get 1000 so 1000 is the maximized value of profit and the producer of the monopoly uh, or monopolist 
is going to produce 20 units for this. So this is how a quadratic specification can be used in cost function for instance to find out the equilibrium value of the output which in this case was a monopoly. So this is how the application of quadratic function has been done in an economic situation. Thank you.